champion. He was voted outstanding boxer at the 89 championships. And he was a 1990 USSR champion. Millet in dark or blue and Konstantin Zhu in the red. Zhu didn't have much time to do any kind of warming up in the ring. He stepped through the ropes and the bell sounded and it's underway. And an early caution to Millet. Believe for a low blow or perhaps holding. Remember, three cautions result in a warning. Three warnings result in a disqualification, something you rarely see. Millet is from St. Louis, Missouri, a city that's produced outstanding boxers. His teammate Patrice Brooks, a 139-pounder from St. Louis. And, of course, the Sphinx brothers, Michael and Leon, are both from St. Louis. From the worst uh, ghetto projects you can imagine, those guys went on to world championships and fame and fortune. Millet comes from a boxing family. Both his dad, Marvin, and his mom, Faye, are boxing coaches, and they help him. He's currently attending Forest Park Community College, studying human science. <laughs> That's appropriate for boxing somehow, isn't it? Well, it is called the sweet science, and certainly these guys are real experienced amateur boxers, well over 100 fights each. Konstantin Zhu is probably the best boxer the Soviets have on this particular team. He's talented, he's experienced. And he's a champion. Now he's the outstanding boxer at the 89 European Championships, and he's also the Soviet title holder. He can do just about everything inside that ring. Millet finished second in the U.S. Championships in Colorado Springs in 1990. He lost to Steve Johnson of Denver in the finals. First of three rounds, three three-minute rounds. Uh, the book on Zoo is that he's just so relaxed inside that ring, and look at him. I mean, he just, he never, Good combination he doesn't, by Zoo. he doesn't fluster, he just keeps the hands up, and when he's under fire, just keeps his cool. He's got very quick hands. Miller trying to go to the body, but those punches were blocked by Zoo. All right, drops his hands, little showboating action, little Sugar Ray Leonard. You don't see much of that from Soviet boxers. Zhu has been impressive in round one. And the Soviet contingent loves it. Well, he's one of the more popular boxers in the Soviet Union, and I think that's why he does a little bit of that showboating. Remember, they've been watching some of the tapes from the 1976 Olympics and so forth with Sugar Ray Leonard and Howard Davis Jr. From 1970 to 74, the U.S. team featured boxers like Sugar Ray Leonard and Aaron Pryor. In fact, Leonard is one of the few who never lost to a Soviet opponent. <laughs> Leonard had a 145-5 and five amateur record. Only five guys beat him, and all those five were on decision. Final seconds of round one at 139 pounds, Taryn Millett of the U.S. and Konstantin Zhu of the Soviet Union, and it would appear that round one belongs to the Soviet. Proctor with Randy Gordon, Olympic Stadium in Moscow. These are 139 pounders, Taryn Millett of the United States in blue and Konstantin Zhu of the Soviet Union. And a caution to Zhu for hitting behind the head or perhaps holding. Round one was a good one for Zhu. I'm very impressed with the Soviet boxer. He uh, is just so cool. On the inside, he knows what he's doing. On the outside, he keeps the hands up and he fires a hard left jab. Very relaxed until the point where he has to throw a punch and then he explodes. I can now add a hard right hand because that right hand of his is flashing out with power and accuracy. Sue landing some solid shots to the head. Carries his hands very low. That's unusual for a Soviet boxer. His style is a little different than those of his teammates. Well, we saw in the first round a little bit of hot dogging from him, but he is a real skilled defensive boxer and he's a sharpshooter too. Wrestling match going on in the corner and a caution to Millet for shoving. Good left hook. Left uppercut by Zhu, just beating Millet to the punch. Little rat-a-tat punches, but he landed about five in that quick exchange. Now Millet drops his hands, which isn't advisable, I think, against Zhu. Now, and you notice that Millet quickly switched up and then thought better about it and went back to the orthodox style. Well, it seems a little confused by Zhu. Zhu is boxing much like an American boxer with that side-to-side -side movement, that jab, the quick hand speed, and a lot of upper body movement. Good left-right combination by Konstantin Zhu. No 
Millett is going to have to go to work quickly if he hopes to win this bout. And a caution to Millett. I'm not for sure. Holding. I think it was behind the head. A quick grab behind the head. Fans of amateur boxing, when you think of Soviet boxing, you think of guys who are straight up like robots. No longer. These guys box like the Americans we've come to know over the last 15 years or so. I think of uh, Sylvester Stallone's opponent in, in was it Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, or Rocky 8? One of those Rocky movies. Ivan the Soviet. <laughs> Ivan Bravo. Millet has got to go to work quickly. He's just not landing any punches. I guess the word for him right now is befuddled. He just doesn't know what to do. Because when he comes in, he's eating leather, and he cannot get shots. And from the outside, he's totally ineffective. Zoo controlling the pace, hitting, backing away. And it would appear that... Karen Millett is in real trouble going to round three. You can just see the state of uh, confusion in his eyes. He's not sure how to handle his Soviet opponent. He doesn't know quite what to do. He is being given a real international boxing lesson. Dick Pettigrew talking to him in his corner. There, when he came in with the right hand, he ate a left hand and another one, tried the left hand, which just caught the Soviet on the cheek. But that was one of the rare times an exchange paid off for the American. And here's some more action. There's a right hand, that, a lunging right hand by Millet, but he really is paying for it. Because as he's coming in, you see his feet mixed up, he's taking counter shots, and right now the Soviet in red is having things all his way. And you can see why the Soviets are so high on 21-year-old Konstantin Zhu. He's from Serov. He's a student of the Physical Training College. Very impressive boxer. Round three. I think we're going to have to remember this name, Zhu. I mean, this bout still has three minutes to go. But what I'm seeing so far, I am really impressed. Look at that double, triple left hand. And he's using it over and over. And his conditioning, there's no sign he's even breathing hard. Millet just has not landed any scoring blows so far. He's in real trouble. He's got to start throwing some punches quickly. Even that may not be enough. Millet now just standing, looking, watching. Zoo kind of clowning with him a little bit. Everything from Millet is basically one shot at a time. He's coming in. He is the robot. And the Soviet boxer is, is having a phenomenal night so far. To the quick hands of Konstantin Zhu. No, it is getting very frustrated now. Referee is talking to both young men about pulling themselves in close, about holding on. You can just about feel the frustration in Millet now. I think Millet knows this one is over regardless of what he does in round three. Unless he puts his opponent down. Pretty good right hand by Millet, one of the few good punches he's thrown in this box. It was an accurate right hand, landed on the left side of the cheek of Zhu. That might have been the hardest punch he's thrown all night so far. It's almost like Zhu is toying with Millet at this point in the box. And he's very smart, too, because he dances his way to the middle of the ring. That way, he's got an escape route either to the right or the left should he get in trouble. I think Zhu knows at this point there's virtually no way he can lose this bout. I don't know if Millet is intimidated at this point. He gets another caution. For pushing, once again. But if he wants to win this bout, he's got to know. He's got to mix it up. He's got to just come in and try to stop his opponent. I don't think he can win on points. I don't think there's any way. Millet trying to get up on his toes now and land some punches. But Millet is staying away, or uh, Zoo is just staying away from Millet. Another caution to Millet. Very impressive performance by Konstantin Zhu of the Soviet Union at 139 pounds. This has been like a real, a good gym workout for Zhu. He's going to come out of this thing ready to box tomorrow. Looks like he could go another three rounds right now. Very fresh in round three. The 
being only 21, he looks like he has a wealth of experience. I don't think there's much doubt about the outcome of this bout. You see what he just did there, Zoo? Fired the right hand as he was backing away as Miller walked in, and the right hand landed. And we're down to the final seconds of round three. Things have happened, but I would be very surprised if Konstantin Zhu of the Soviet Union didn't throw a shutout. Konstantin Zhu, the winner at 139 pounds, a unanimous decision over Terran Millet. He was very impressive, Randy. He certainly was, Mel. He had things his way from the opening bell. The only thing he doesn't have is crushing power.